Hi everybody, welcome back. In today's video, I wanted to take four of what I think might be the most underrated Cezanne bags that you can buy currently and review them for you, talk about the pros and cons of each bag and show you what they look like on as well. These are the bags that I hear talked about the least when it comes to Cezanne. They're the ones I see worn the least, reviewed the least, and so I wanted to delve into why that might be, whether they are just bad bags or actually are these bags flying under the radar and not getting the attention they deserve. Hopefully you find this video interesting and enjoyable to watch. If you do, please consider giving it a like and also comment down below if you would like to see a part two where I review the remaining styles from Suzanne as well. The first bag I want to talk about is the most affordable of the four bags that I'm going to talk about today and also one of the most affordable bags on Cezanne's website in general. It's the classic Faro bag in the heritage brown leather. This bag comes in at £205 on the UK website. I will put the US and European prices on screen as well. But it is, as I said, one of the cheaper bags when you compare it to a lot of the other styles available. This has been around for a number of years. I feel like this was most popular a good few years back, perhaps when bucket bags were having more of a moment. I do think a bucket bag is a timeless bag style that never really falls out of trend, but it definitely has years where it's more popular and years where it's less popular. And I feel like over the last few years, it's definitely not been as popular to wear a bucket bag. Size wise, this is a really good medium size. It's not a huge bag, it's not a tote bag, but it's also much bigger than bags like the Mini Milo and the Claude from Cezanne. If I do a size comparison with my Claude bag, you can see that you're definitely definitely going to be fitting quite a lot more stuff into this Faro bag than you would any of these smaller bags from Cezanne. For that reason, I think it's a great everyday bag. It's plenty big enough for all of your essentials and a little bit more as well. So it could make a really nice medium sized bag, a great entry level starter bag if you're looking to invest in perhaps your first Cezanne bag, but you don't want to pay the prices of the Milo or the Romy, which is quite a similar shape to this. Those are more in the 300, 400 pound mark, whereas this, as I said, it's just over 200 pounds. It's currently available in three different leathers, this smooth heritage brown leather and then a camel croc leather and a black croc leather as well. It also comes in a mini size, which is slightly less expensive. That one, in my opinion, is just a little bit too small, especially for a bucket bag style. It's definitely a crossbody bag. The strap is adjustable, but it's only adjustable slightly. It has three different holes that you can put it on. So you can adjust it to three different heights. But as you can see, all of them are quite similar. They're not there's not a huge difference between the different heights. So if this isn't a bag, you can really adjust the height of too much. But if you are petite or you are slightly taller, you can wear it on a slightly different setting. I will show you what it looks like on me when it's crossbody. I'm a very average height, so you can get a good feel for what it might look like on you. In terms of branding, it just has the Cezanne embossed in gold on the bottom. That's the only branding on the bag. Other than that, it is completely plain, which I really like. I love the minimal feel of a bucket bag. I really like the casual nature of a bucket bag style as well. It's definitely one of the more casual feeling bags that Cezanne carries. A lot of their bags with the shiny gold clasps feel a little bit more done up, a little bit more modern. This feels slightly more vintagey, slightly more relaxed. So if you have quite a casual style, I think a bucket bag could be a great option. There's two main drawbacks that I can see with this particular bag. The first being just the nature of it being a bucket bag. It's a little bit fiddly to get in and out of. You undo this leather strap here, so you actually tie it yourself and then you have to undo it and pull open the bag. So you can see it does take like 10, 20 seconds to get in and out of the bag. And then obviously once you want to close it up again, you have to pull on the drawstrings like so and tie the bag manually yourself. So it's not a bag that you're gonna be getting in and out of super rapidly. If you have kids or you're going shopping and you need very easy access to your items, then this is probably not the bag to choose. Another negative of this bag is it doesn't close completely. So that's about as tight as I can tie it, at least while I'm filming, but you're not going to be able to fully close this bag, which means it's not totally secure. You, someone could still get their hand quite easily in and out of this bag. So that's something to bear in mind. The final drawback with this bag, and this is something I've noticed with a few of the heritage brown leather bags from Cezanne, is it has this slightly odd marking on it, staining. I'm not sure if it is staining, if it's age related, if it's just a natural byproduct of this kind of leather. Let me know if you if you know what this is. But you can see it if I hold it up to the light, you can see what I mean. And that is something to bear in mind. It almost comes looking a little bit worn already, which I don't love. So would I recommend this bag? Yes, provided you understand 
that it isn't a bag that's super easy to access. If you don't mind that, if you don't need to get your stuff in and out super regularly, then I think this could be a great option. If you have a casual vintage style, it's a more affordable price point if you can't afford or you don't want to spend the money on some of the more expensive bags from Cezanne. But you would like a bag with that French style, then I do think this is a really nice option. And again, I love the size of it. I think it's a really nice size for every day. The second bag in the video is the Romy bag. This is another bag I really don't hear many people talking about or wearing. It comes in a whole host of different colors, designs, and even different sizes as well. This is the classic size. It is a smaller bag than the Faro. It's more comparable to the Claude. Again, if I hold them up, I would say they are very similar sizes face on, but the Romeo is slightly wider because it is more of an accordion style. It does have more compartments than the Claude. Interestingly, this bag doesn't have any branding on it at all. It doesn't have Cezanne embossed or debossed anywhere on the bag. The opening of the bag is a magnetic closure. So you don't actually use this buckle here. This is purely for show. You actually just open the flap and it's got a magnet. And then if you open up the bag, you can see there are various different compartments. There's even one in the middle here. There's this main compartment, another main one, and then also this front pocket here. So if you like a bag that has lots of different dividers and compartments for you to organize your things in, then this is a great option. It also has a very, very thin slip pocket on the back here where you can put paper or receipts. Similar to the Faro bag, I think this is quite a casual, definitely a day bag as opposed to an evening bag. It feels very vintage inspired with the accordion style and this buckle here. To me, it feels very 70s, quite Parisian, vintage inspired, but it's definitely not a bag I would see myself dressing up for an evening or a more formal occasion. It's firmly in the kind of everyday casual weekend style. The only negative thing I would really say about this bag is it is quite chunky for the size of it. You're not fitting much more in this bag than you would in the Claude, but it definitely takes up more room on your body, especially in terms of width. It sits further away from the body when you wear it crossbody compared with the Mini Milo or the Claude, which sit much closer to the body. So they provide a slightly more streamlined silhouette. It is an adjustable crossbody strap as well. So it is gonna be very similar to the straps on almost all of Cezanne's crossbody bags. You can change the length of it, which I think is really great. The black leather is smooth. It doesn't have that issue of the watermark or staining that the brown leather does. That fault is really only something I've witnessed on the brown heritage leather from Cezanne. I haven't witnessed it on the smooth leathers in the other colors. So you'd be fine in that respect. I don't know how this hair texture would fare in wet weather. I'm guessing not great. I've never owned a bag with this kind of pony hair texture before. So if you have, you'll have to let me know in the comments, is it okay to wear this in the rain or do you want to avoid that a bit like a suede bag? Because you can't really protect this in the same way that you could spray and protect a suede bag. The third bag on my list is the Able bag. Now instantly this looks quite similar to the burgundy crop Claude bag that I own. It is exactly the same leather, the same color, the same texture. If I compare the two, you can see that they are, as I said, exactly the same in terms of the leather. This one is slightly bigger than the Claude. They are pretty much exactly the same width, but this is definitely longer and you are going to be able to fit more in this than you can fit in the Claude. Straight off the bat, I have to say, I really like this bag. I love how minimal it is. Again, it just has the Cezanne logo embossed in gold at the bottom, no other branding. I love this burgundy croc leather. It's so durable. I've said this about my Claude bag, but this is absolutely scratch proof. You cannot scratch this bag unless you literally took a knife to it. It's gonna be absolutely fine. So it's really durable, really Really hard wearing. I feel like this is going to age really well. I like how subtle it is compared to the Claude. It doesn't have that flashy gold clasp. If you're not a fan of that, you think that's maybe a little bit gaudy, this might be a better option for you. It's slightly more minimal. It also has a chain strap. So that's the main other difference. This is definitely slightly more dressy than the leather strap on the Claude. So this could be a bag that you could wear in the day quite easily, but you could definitely transition to evening and it would still look totally appropriate because of this really pretty twisted metal chain. Again, it is a long strap so you can wear this cross body. It does have some leather on the shoulder portion of the strap so when you have it on your shoulder you don't have that chain digging in which I really appreciate. I think that's a good design detail. The zip is gold as well and it's very smooth. <laughs> 
which is something I look for in zip bags. I really like a smooth zip and this feels like a high quality zip. And then it is really just one main compartment. I don't like that Cezanne always line their bags in black canvas because it makes it really hard to see your things when you have things in the bag. I wish it was more of a lighter toned canvas. I do appreciate that would get dirty more easily, but it is a lot more practical. The only other compartment it has is this zip compartment on the side, which is the same width as the bag. So it is quite a decent size actually. But other than that, it's just one main compartment. I have to say if I didn't already own the Claude bag in the Croc Burgundy I would be very tempted to keep this one. I think it's a great bag. I really like the chain strap. I really like that it's a little bit more dressy but a little bit more minimal than the Claude bag and I do also like that it's just ever so slightly bigger. Sometimes the Claude bag does feel a little bit too small for what I need it for. It just about fits my phone in there but once I've got my phone and my wallet and my keys in there you can't really fit anything else whereas in this bag you could definitely fit a few extra things. So if you are looking for a little bit more space and you have been considering the Claude because you love this burgundy croc and maybe consider the Able instead. It is also cheaper at £285 it is cheaper than the Claude which I think retails for about £340. Final bag I have to share with you is this mammoth tote bag. This is the Gabin bag and I chose mine in this greyish grey, it's like a taupey grey colour, a slightly warm toned grey. This is a very minimal chic bag. It's definitely giving me the row vibes, it's giving me quiet luxury. Big bags are going to be really in for 2024 and this is definitely a big bag. I can just about fit it on camera but you can see that it is a really generous size tote. The branding is so minimal so it just has the Cezanne debossed here so it's not embossed it's debossed which makes it even more subtle which is why it's giving me the row vibes because it is so subtle in its branding. The colour is a really stunning neutral. It's going to pair so easily with any colour in your wardrobe but it's a little bit different to your typical black, brown or white bag. Now it actually has two lengths of strap that you can choose from. It has this slightly longer shoulder strap which is a really nice length for going over your shoulder. It feels very comfortable and then on the outside it also has these shorter straps which you can hold more like this or you can put it into the crook of your arm like that. So I like that versatility. The only thing I don't love about this is when you're using the shorter straps on the outside of the bag you can tuck the longer straps in so you don't actually see them. So it looks quite clean like that whereas the other way round if you're wearing the longer longer straps which are on the inside of the bag you can't tuck the shorter straps in because they are on the outside of the bag so you're still going to be able to see them like that which I don't love the look of so that's one of the drawbacks of this bag the only other drawback of this bag and probably the main drawback and the reason I wouldn't keep this bag personally is it doesn't have any form of closure or zip so it is fully open to the elements and for a bag this big I just don't think that's that practical especially if you're carrying around important things like tech, like your purse, like your laptop. You don't really want a bag that's just completely open. It doesn't protect your things well enough from rain if you've got your laptop in there or pickpocketers, um, things like that. So yeah, I wish they had added a zip closure to this bag. If they had, I would have definitely considered it because I really like it otherwise. Now I will say it does have a zip compartment on the side of the bag. So you could put your purse, your phone in there, but you're not going to be able to put a laptop or bigger items in that compartment. So those items are still exposed. So that's something that is a real drawback and a real deal breaker for me when it comes to this bag. This bag is about £360. So it's the most expensive bag on the list. And I do think it's a really good alternative to some higher end suede or leather totes from those more minimal luxury brands. If you don't fancy that greyish colour as well, it does come in a couple of different colour options. So I'll leave those linked down below. By the way, I'll leave all of these bags linked down below in the description box, as well as in the pinned comment on this video so you can really easily go and check those links out if you're interested in any of the bags that I've shown today. You'll have to let me know what you think. Are there any of these bags that you would consider adding to your wardrobe? Which was your favourite? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think these bags deserve more attention than some of Cezanne's more popular styles? Or do you think they're the least talked about bags on Cezanne for a reason? Please do subscribe to my channel if you're not already. It really helps me out and allows me to make more review videos like this. You can always leave comments down below if you have any requests for videos that you would really like to see. I will also leave some Cezanne bag reviews I've done in the past on screen here. If you would like to check those out and hear my thoughts about some other bag styles, then definitely watch those next. Otherwise, I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye!